Pop art questioning the popular Australian view of famous bushranger Ned Kelly is on display in Darwin. It's the first time Sydney-based pop artist Johnny Romeo has exhibited his work in the top end and it's sure to leave a colourful impression. The exhibition is obviously about Ned Kelly. It's a provocative exhibition which looks at the flip side of the coin and it looks at Ned Kelly potentially as a cop killer. He's a, a symbol of, um, you know, the underdog, the battler, the folk hero, a cultural icon. To others, he's viewed as um, as a cold-blooded murderer. Cop Killer looks at the events that took place at Stringy Bark Creek when, um, you know, when, when, when Ed Kelly, you know, murdered three police officers. And that's where Cop Killer takes its title from. Ned has, um, you know, transgressed time and, and a lot of the imagery is a very modernised hero of Ned Kelly. So it's not Ned as Ned would have been back in the days, it's Ned as we would view Ned today as a superhero. But there's a twist to it. I've presented him as a superhero, but in actual fact, um, a lot of what's happening in the pictures actually make him a supervillain. There's a lot of references to many different things. There's references to modern um, pop iconography. I've got, you know, Ned Kelly as, um, you know, Chopper Reed in a Chopper Reed pose with the two pistols. The work is, um, you know, is, is very much um, influenced by pop culture. Things that I grew up with, you know, the memories of television, um, comics, cartoons. There's a supervillain that appears in a Batman series, and he only appears four times, called the Swag Man. He's based on Ned Kelly, but he only appears four times in the Batman series, you know? And so I thought, well, this is very interesting. He was um, a, a letter-clad bomber, had an Australian accent, and that was essentially the, um, the inspiration for this body of work. It's very loud and, and, and colourful. My background, I'm a graffiti artist, so there's a heavy emphasis on, um, you know, the form. Um, instead of using spray cans, I use oil now and, and oil sticks, and but there's still that graphic element about my work. Someone um, just recently referred to my work as part punk, part pop. And I thought that was so cool because that's exactly what I would like it to be viewed like. Cop Killer is on display at the Vault Gallery at Sprout Creative in Darwin until April.